look at this place. Look at the beauty that surrounds us. Absolutely incredible. Oh, so I'm going to hike up Helvellyn this weekend, guys, which is right off there in the distance. You can probably see it in the background somewhere. It's a hike. I mentioned last week, it's a hike that I've wanted to do for years. And today is the day, finally. I'm really excited. Now, I had planned to hike up during the sunset, to be honest. And it's around about 12 noon now. And basically, a couple of hours before sunset, we're going to have a huge band of high cloud. It's saying 96% cloud cover or something like that. Um, so I think this is one of the instances where you've got to look at the forecast. I think is there really any point hiking up for three hours in grey? Probably not going to get any views at that stage. Or I could hike up now at 12 noon and have incredible, beautiful weather, gorgeous views, perfect visibility. All right, you know, it's harsh light. The photography is not going to be incredible, but I think it's just the wise option in this instance. So that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, I've wanted to do this hike for ages. So I think this weekend it's going to be a lot more about the adventure and, you know, me doing this hike rather than the photography. In saying that, however, of course, there will still be a lot of landscape photography. So I hope you'll stick with me and I hope you're going to enjoy this video as much as I'm going to enjoy filming it, to be honest, because I'm buzzing. So without further ado, let's go and explore. <laughs> What an amazing place. I was thinking that if I had the opportunity to sculpt my very own landscape as a landscape photographer, I'd say it wouldn't be too far off the Lake District. It is just an incredible place. It's, it has everything that a landscape photographer would want. It's perfect. Absolutely love it. And it's so peaceful today. There's barely a breath of wind in the air and it's not often you get that here, especially when you're doing hikes. Um, absolutely amazing. Anyway, you can see here that I'm set up for my first image of the day. I wanted to stop and show you guys my ideas behind it. Now, for the duration of the hike so far, I've been staring at this beautiful river that I believe comes down from Grisdale Tarn. Uh, I think it might be called Grisdale Beck. I'm not too sure, but it looks incredible. And I've been staring at it so long that I've had a lot of time to think up a composition. So firstly, I'm using my 18 to 55 millimeter lens, you can see on the front there, and I'm shooting at about 50 millimeters, which is working perfectly here, because I'm zooming in on the river, right through into that valley there, and I'm not having any of the sky in the image at all, because it's just too harsh, it's too bright. But what I've got is the river sort of coming in from the bottom left-hand side of the image, bottom left-hand side of the frame, and then it's coming right up through the middle, and then it finishes at the top center. And then on the right-hand side of the frame, we've got um, a few of the cliffs there as well, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, the light's pretty harsh, but what I'm going to try and do is deliberately underexpose because even though obviously we have the shadows down there, because it's in the middle of the day and the light is harsh, the shadows are actually quite bright. So by underexposing, I'm bringing down those highlights, but we're still going to capture the detail in them shadows as well, if that makes any sense. So I'm not too sure if it's going to work. I shall wait and see when I get it in the old Lightroom, but <sighs> what a phenomenal spot. And I've got, let me show you what I've got. Look at this. It's a Cumberland Scotch egg. Now for anyone that doesn't know, Cumbria, I think it changed its name to Cumbria in 1974, I think. It used to be called Cumberland. So this is a, it's probably not a Cumberland Scotch. It's probably just a sausage in it. Hmm. I don't know what I'm expecting to taste. It's nice, anyway. I'll show you this picture now. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna eat my egg and then we'll crack on with the hike. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to the peak now.
what an amazing hike one of the best i have done in a long time i forgot to mention as well i was hiking up striding edge which is this crazy uh, it's like a knife edge and you're, you're sort of scrambling basically and there's like however many foot drops on either side it's pretty scary actually um, in parts but really good rush really good challenge they're really enjoying it and um, so i'm not too far from the top now as you can see there i've got one last sort of scramble to get to the peak um, i think i'm going to do maybe like a bit of a classic shot from the top um, we've got this beautiful tarn down here called red tarn and then all these beautiful mountains in the background um, so yeah, I might do that. You can actually even see a little bit of Lake Ullswater up there, which is where we where we spent last week's vlog. Amazing. See, so yeah, I'll probably get to the top, do a little bit of a classic shot up there. Um, so I'll see you up there. <laughs> Ridiculous. One word. <sighs> Speechless. This is incredible. What a view. <sighs> so I'm going to take my classic shot from this location. I'm not quite at the top there. You might be able to see the peak of Hellbelling just over my left shoulder. <sighs> Hope you can see that. Um, it's, it's bank holiday weekend. It's a Saturday afternoon. It's fairly busy. It's just easier to do it here. It's same, same, you know. Um, if you see there, that's where I hiked up. That ridge there looks crazy from here now. But yeah, I'm not actually going to get set up and then talk you guys through this image because it's really simple. It's literally just a snapshot of this, what we can see here. Um, if I had a mate up here that's not into photography and he had his iPhone, got it out and we took exactly the same shot, exactly the same composition, you wouldn't be able to tell the two apart, honestly. Um, this is going to be an image that's all about location and all about making the effort to get up to here. Um, so there's no point, there's nothing like you know technically difficult about this shot i could put the camera on automatic and it'd be fine and i probably ain't even going to need to use a tripod as well so there is no point but oh my god what a spot this is incredible this is where i'm from cumbria absolutely gorgeous <sighs> right uh i'm gonna getting a bit emotional there i'm gonna take the shot now and then i'm going to actually take one up on this rock as well do a little selfie shot you know like them ones um and i'm going to go down to this tarn right at the opposite side from us here down to red tarn and i'm going to go around this way so i'm going to do a big loop all the way down this path down to the bottom and then when i get to the bottom there um i'm going to be facing this way which is going to be west so if we do get a sunset i might hang around i'm not sure yet i think i'll be able to find a nice composition down there oh this is amazing so Here's them two shots now, and I shall see you right down at the bottom of Red Town. So welcome to Red Town absolutely beautiful now i think that this is going to be my last shot of the day um, it's still another couple of hours until the sunset but i figured if i want to get some sunset images it's about an hour and a half for me to get down from this hike so i'll be able to get them on the way down and we're still you know hiking through beautiful scenery so you may be seeing a sunset image after this one as well who knows not me at this stage but anyway this is going to be a nice image so i'd like to talk you guys through it um compositionally we've got some nice rocks here in the foreground you know me and how much i I love my foreground rocks, especially in a body of water. Um, got the polarizer on again, just to cut through some of the glare here in the foreground. Um, and then the six stop ND filter, which was giving me a foreground shutter speed. Uh, I'm doing two separate exposures. So for the foreground, I'm looking at about 15 seconds and then I'm exposing for the sky as well. Cause I'm shooting straight into the sun. Um, and that one's literally going to be like less than two seconds. Um, what I'm waiting for is the sun just to dip below Helvel in the peak there and I'm going to shoot at quite a closed aperture, probably f16 um, to try and get a bit of a starburst effect I think um, so hopefully that works out but definitely need two exposures here because the dynamic range is ridiculous the camera doesn't know what's going on obviously um, 
So yeah, that's all there is to say about this one. Nice classic shot. Um, I hope you like it and you may be seeing a sunset image as well, like I said. <sighs> Okie dokie. I hope you guys like that shot, that image, because it's definitely going to be the last one of the vlog. <laughs> if you look over my shoulder there, the grey cloud has arrived, just as forecast, so um, yeah, it means that it's one of them. There's literally no point in just standing up there waiting for sunset for there just not to be one. Um, I think sometimes you have to know just when to call it a day, or else it would have just been frustrating, you know, waiting up there for two more hours and there wouldn't have even been a sunset, so... Um, good bit of advice, I think. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to call it from the incredible Lake District Cumbria. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed filming it because it's been mint. <sighs> Amazing. So I shall see you guys on the next adventure next week. Out. <laughs>